In this video, I'm going to show you how to align items in Elements for Mac using the spacing and margin settings. Now here I have a container with some text inside of it. And to align text, I can use the a text align option. And that's quite straightforward and simple to use. However, when there are other items in the container, those do not have text align options. So you need to use the spacing settings. So if I come down to spacing and we're going to enable margin and padding and you can see margin is currently set to zero. And if I click the dotted line, it's going to link those two items up and we're just going to switch it to auto. And when I do that, the object centers. Now let's unclick this blue line to unlink them. And we can set the margin to auto on the left hand side and zero on the right hand side. And now that will right align our items because we've set it to zero here and the left margin is on auto and that will just um, create that space for us. So I can do the reverse if I set this to auto, the right side to auto and the left side to nothing, we're going to get a left align. And when I set them to both auto, it's going to align in the middle. So let me just drop another object into the um, container just so you can see how that works. Now with a button it is automatically um, centered there because it, we automatically set the margin as auto. But if you wanted to change the alignment you can come in here and do that. So again it's the same left align, right align. Um, Let's just set that to auto there. So you can see that's left aligned. And as you saw, if I set it to zero, that's going to set the margin to uh, zero on either side and we'll fill the space. So that button's always going to stretch to the width of the container. Uh, but let's switch that back down to auto. There we are. So that is how to align items in Elements for Mac. There are other ways to do this because Elements is so powerful and these components can do so much. but that is the simple way to align those items in containers. All right, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.